What happens during a church service? Church services can vary widely among different Christian denominations, reflecting diverse traditions, theological beliefs, and worship practices. However, there are common elements found across many Christian church services. These include 1. Worship and praise. This portion of the service often involves congregational singing, which may include hymns or contemporary Christian music, led by a choir, worship team, or band. Worship through music is a way to express adoration and love for God. Psalm 102 encourages this, stating, Serve the Lord with gladness, come into His presence with singing. This verse highlights the joy and reverence with which believers are to approach God, emphasizing singing as a form of worship. 2. Prayer Prayer is a fundamental part of church services, involving both corporate and individual communication with God. Churches may include prayers of confession, thanksgiving, intercession, and supplication. 1 Thessalonians 5 16-18 advises, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This passage underscores the importance of prayer in maintaining a joyful and thankful heart, irrespective of circumstances. 3. The preaching of the word, central to most church services is the preaching or teaching of the Bible. This can take the form of expository preaching, where a passage of scripture is explained in detail, or topical preaching, focusing on a specific theme. 2 Timothy 3 16-17 states, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. This emphasizes that scripture is foundational for teaching and spiritual growth, equipping believers to live righteously. Three main takeaways. 1. Worship as a response to God's glory. Worship and praise reflect our response to the greatness and goodness of God. They are expressions of our love and adoration for who God is and what he has done for us. 2. Prayer as essential communication. Prayer is vital for maintaining a personal relationship with God. It is through prayer that we communicate our thoughts, concerns, and gratitude to God, and it is a practice that should permeate our lives. 3. Scripture is the foundation for teaching. The preaching and teaching of the Word are crucial for spiritual growth and understanding. The Bible is God's revealed truth and provides the foundation for all teaching and doctrine in the church. It equips believers to live lives that honor God. Greg Gaines Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Digital Missionary, Foster Parents, Welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about us slash.